Thank you, Chairman. Um, I'm absolutely delighted to be here today to talk to you about what Borgosh Energy Home Team are doing. It's actually really exciting stuff, and I'm hoping you'll find it. So it's absolutely fantastic to see such a big turnout. Um, when, I had men when somebody mentioned to me this morning there were 550 people here for the conference, I was like, oh my God, that's such a huge amount of people. But it's absolutely fantastic to see such a big turnout. Uh, anybody here from Cork? Is this your second visit this, this, this week? Uh, congratulations to our... Our, our Cork uh, colleagues and members. Um, my, um, my colleague, Christina Byrne, is not so happy. She's um, from down, so she had a disappointing weekend, but uh, well done to, to, to our Cork friends. So without further ado, um, I want to just uh, talk to you a little bit about um, Home Team. Just to acknowledge, um, I suppose, the sentiments of a couple of the speakers this morning, um, Brendan Halligan talked about the fact that through um, our Celtic Tiger years, whilst we had fantastic uh, boom in, in the construction industry, and particularly in the domestic home construction industry, we have, I suppose, the challenge now of dealing with homes that are not uh, at the level that they should be at in terms of energy efficiency, and we have heating systems that are not at the, en at the level they should be at in terms of energy efficiency, and certainly that is our experience. We've carried out a lot of focus group works uh, research, and we're, I suppose we're in the business of, of uh, home energy uh, provision and heating systems for quite a while, so we know quite a lot about our customers and, and what they're telling us in terms of their uh, energy consumption. So we do have a, quite a bit to go, and the home team are set up to really you know, try and tackle some of those challenges. Um, the other point that uh, Minister Ryan made this morning with regards to finance is a really, really relevant one. It is a, a, a probably the principal uh, barrier to, to entry for, for us in the context of you know, encouraging customers to invest in their home. We have gone some way uh, to helping customers you know, do more, and I suppose that's really where we, we've positioned ourselves. But certainly when it comes to the bigger ticket items, and you talk about, you know, um, investments in, in, in things like full wrap insulation for the home, uh, exterior, ca exterior wall insulation and stuff like that, we do need to look at outside of, of utility companies for, at finance models that potentially can support the customer in carrying out that work. So I think it is a really important point to make. Um, so from servicing to home team, I don't know whether any of you are aware, but Borgosh have been in the business of boiler servicing for uh, close on 10 years now. We've grown the business um, over those years to deliver this year approximately 75,000 uh, boiler servicing and repairs uh, this year. So it's, it's qu quite a significant business that we're in. Uh, we've worked the last 18 months. Uh, I mentioned Christina Byrne um, and a number of her colleagues have worked in the last uh, 18 months to really build a, uh, a proposition, an operations model, a, a new business unit that is going to take this further. It's going to take it beyond where we are at the moment. Um, I suppose the home team concept emerged from, from a gap in the market. We have a real need to help customers manage costs and reduce energy consumption. Um, Eamon Ryan mentioned this morning about utility companies moving out of that utility thinking space and into the solutions uh, for, for customer space. And I absolutely think that uh, Borgosh have, have achieved that, that we've, we, we've really made that, that leap. And I hope uh, through what we will, uh, we will show you today that you'll, you'll understand what it is that we're trying to do. Um, our key objectives over the coming years are really to, uh, to, to, to look at the challenges identified in the National Energy Retrofit Program, things like access to finance, things like awareness in the marketplace, things like providing real um, advice to customers around products and services and solutions that will suit them and, and making sure that they understand the payback associated with that investment and the fact that um, you know, it, it, there isn't a one-size-fits-all fits model, that it is very bespoke to the individual. Um, so that's really our key challenge. And I suppose the customer benefits will extend to better homes in the context of energy, um, better homes in the context of consumption and uh, carbon reduction, and uh, as well as that comfort. So I suppose to explain to you a little bit about our mission, um, our vision and our strategy. So why uh, is Borgosh Home Team doing what they're doing? We have an ambition to be the number one uh, provider of home energy products and services in Ireland. It's a pretty tall ambition, but we believe we can get there. Um, we want to be a leading supplier of home energy services on the island of Ireland, 
providing a competitive energy saving solution through delivery of quality products and services. Um, the whole issue of quality was mentioned earlier. Um, it's important to say that we have spent a lot of time looking at that and building in a lot of quality um, metrics and programs into our end-to-end -end solution, ensuring that the customer has you know, a, a one-stop shop and a place to come back to in the context of guarantees and war warranties and, uh, and, and stuff like that. So we we've a, we've a big focus on quality. Uh, we are focused on the residential market, and uh, we're not really talking about the SME business market at the moment, and we are offering targeted products and services. So what is the customer proposition? You know, what does it mean for the customer, and what is Borgosh Home Team going to deliver to the customer? We make things better. Uh, we think beyond. Uh, Borgosh Energy has one priority. We want to solve energy problems in order to make things better. We've made a commitment quite a number of years ago to not be a utility company providing gas and electricity, but to be a company that a, com that a customer can come to and ask for support and advice on managing consumption at a sensible level. We want to be leading, we want to guide, and we want to support our customers, enabling them to take action. So enabling them to invest in their home and do sensible things to, to help them cut their energy consumption and, uh, while maintaining comfort in the home. Last winter was the coldest in 50, um, 50 years. The winter before that wasn't much better. The average customer in a semi, three-bed semi-detached home is spending between 250 to 300 euro a month in the winter months on home energy heating. That's a huge cost. And I suppose where we feel there's a gap and where we feel that we can add a, a huge benefit to the customer is that we have information about their energy consumption. We're a dual fuel provider in the marketplace with over one million customers we can um, advise them on how to invest in sensible initiatives in their home that will help them make real savings from day one. So I suppose you know, we've, we're very committed and we're very uh, clear about what it is that we want to achieve. So challenges for the domestic retrofit market. All of you are here today because you understand there are challenges and there's also a huge amount of opportunity. And I think that that's where um, you know, the excitement really comes from. We need to create a demand for retrofits. You know, there's a huge gap in awareness in the context of the, uh, custom, the customer group or the, the domestic home um, owner. We have carried out a lot of focus group research. There's a huge appetite um, you know, with domestic homeowners to invest in their, in their properties, and they understand that that investment will deliver to them some efficiency, but they just don't understand how to go about it. And they don't understand what the real payback will be, you know, what's going to work best for them, and, um, and really then how to benchmark products and services in the market, what's good value versus one versus another. So I think there's a huge amount of challenges there, and I think we are well positioned to address many of those. The market at the moment is very fragmented. Depending on you know, what route you go, you can get very different solutions offered to you. Um, the customer is very much confused, and that's coming through in the research. They're not quite sure you know, what's good, what's bad. You know, this actually puts them off making any kind of decision. Um, there is the real challenges of our current economic environment. You know, we're at 13% unemployment. We have significant challenges in the context of reduce, uh, reduced income flowing into, into households. And I suppose really trying to get the customer out of that sort of grudge purchase you know, mindset in the context of you know, having to invest in a boiler because maybe the boiler has broken to actually take another step for, for further and investing in heating controls, attic roof wall insulation, um, and, and other products that ultimately will deliver better efficiency for them in the, in, in, over the longer term. Um, we mentioned previously the key point that keeps coming up today, access to finance. I am going to talk to you about what Borgosh is doing to address some of that, but you know, when it comes to the bigger ticket, ticket items, we need, we need uh, to, to lobby for support, ensuring that customers get access to competitive finance packages. Um, and just the last point to make is there is no real advice or benchmark uh, price in the marketplace for this type of work. We're going to talk about our home energy, uh, energy consultants and the role that they play in the home team. Um, we have gone down the road of recruiting specific experts in the industry to ensure that our customers get the best advice when it comes to them making decisions about what suits them. So um, and that should help to deal with some of the confusion issues. So what are we delivering? Well, this is a very busy slide. Um, in essence, it's a schematic of a house and um, lots of points around it. I suppose really in summary to say 
that we are taking what was our existing business, uh, which was the appliance servicing business, and we're building on that. So we are offering um, installation of high energy efficiency boilers, heating controls, full system ins installations, um, you know, the full complement of, of, of energy efficiency products that, that, that exist around uh, home heating. Uh, we are also in attic roof wall insulation. Um, we have launched that product. Uh, we are moving very uh, strong. We are in and moving more, more uh, consistently into home energy consultancy. Our home energy consultants are all BEOR assessors, so you know they will, um, you know, provide the BEOR part of the uh, of the process as well in terms of the, the building energy rating. I'm going to talk to you a little later on about some ex excellent work we're doing with Magella and her team and the SEAI around one-stop shop for the grant application process. And I have to say the SEAI have been fantastic in, in, in working with us and have put a lot of hours into making sure that we deliver something that's really customer-centric. Um, so, you know, that's, got, that's all, all going to fit into the proposition. We will move next year uh, into more energy-renewable-type products and, you know, green energy products uh, for the domestic home. Um, I'll talk at the end a little bit about pilots and trials that we're doing with some third-party companies around the whole area of domestic home energy efficiency. So, just to re-emphasize, we've talked a lot today about what needs to be done, you know, where it is that we need to go, the challenges that we need to address, and I suppose the point I would make about Borgosh Energy today is that we have built an operations capability which is currently recruiting 150 staff directly and indirectly um, through a number of third parties. We have a very strong key strategic relationship with the Sierra um, and, you know, we are heavily involved in doing the do, as they say, every day at the moment. We had planned to have a number of our energy consultants here today on the stand to talk to you during the lunchtime and during the breaks if you had any questions. However, we actually can't have them here today because we're, we're that busy. So um, just to give you a, an indication of the fact that we have an operating model that's up and running. This isn't aspirational. It's in place. Uh, we have a number of key strategic partnerships, as I mentioned, with Sierra and also with the SEAI. A lot of people have worked with us to get, it to, get us to this stage, and I have to say, you know, we've, we've had fantastic support, but we have a fully um, operating resource team of 150 people working in the home team at the moment. To stress, I suppose, the role of the customer, because one thing that will make this work, uh, I firmly believe, is that the customer is at the heart of all of the, des the decisions that we're making. Um, we have launched 21 products this year. Um, some of the products that were on the previous slide relate to online shop type products. So the products that you would buy um, if you were interested in, I don't know, maybe re reducing your electricity consumption through the use of an eco kettle or um, a an automatic e eco socket or something like that. But all of the decisions that we've made around all of the products that we've launched have come from the customer. We've carried out extensive uh, customer research on things that fit within the Borgosh brand, things that customers want. And um, you know, that very much colors then our delivery in the context of our marketing strategy, our sales strategy, um, how we would build awareness through our above the line campaigns, how we would tailor our pr products and packages, how we would price them, what you know, our customers can afford and ultimately, you know, what is actually going to work for them. So I suppose the point to make with regard to this is that ultimately the evolution of the home team and the home team products and services has come from the customer, and that's the key um, driver. It's the key success uh, factor, I believe, because, uh, you know, if the customer is telling you you want it, you will be able to sell it, and it will mean something for them. To talk a little bit about the Board Gosh Energy Home Energy Consultant, um, when we were getting involved in this business, when we were planning it at the early stages, we recognized that we needed energy experts. You know, customers needed access to people they could talk to who knew what they were talking about end to end. So whether it was the installation of heating controls or a boiler upgrade to the ins installation of insulation or uh, improvements in the home or the carrying out of a, of a uh, bil uh, building energy rating. Customers needed access to people who could, you know, talk to them about what, you know, what would suit them best. So we took a view that we would recruit and uh, take on a number of um, energy consultants. We're hoping to build on those numbers subject to uh, growth in the business model. Um, but these guys are complete energy solutions advisors end to end. Um, 
they have you know they're, they're trained from a quality perspective and a sales perspective very well um, they will carry out energy efficiency analysis they will leave the customer with a home energy consultancy report so in the event that you don't want to get the work done now you have the opportunity to refer to what needs to be done in the future um, they will look at things like heating system design and build and um, they will adhere to the relevant standards and directives. It's important to say that, again, the SEAI have you know, done a lot of work on the code of practice that associated with how the registered gas installer should operate in the, in the market, whether it be B or assessors or, or, or gas installers or, or people working in the area of um, concern in terms of the grant qualification. So what we've done is we've worked hard to ensure that we deliver the same level of expertise um, they're also customer-facing professionals, so they also you know, recognize the fact that when it comes to decisions uh, about investment in the home, it's a very personal thing, and it's something that the customer needs to be reassured around. Um, high levels of training carried out. Um, as I said, we've got people who are you know, from the industry originally who've been qualified in all areas of, of, of gas, uh, central heating installation, as well as uh, building energy rating, um, who are familiar with the deep software, which fundamentally sits behind the BEOR. Um, who are very good on the quality management side of things and the technical sales side of things. So what is coming? Well, I suppose the exciting bit about what we are doing really is coming in the context of how is this going to work for customers. I was hoping we'd have a bit more detail today um, on the whole area of the Borgosh Energy Home Team and how they'll fit with the SEAI and how we will also help finance uh, the customer. However, we've some dots, to, uh, I's to dot and T's to cross, and we will be out with a with a more public announcement in a couple of weeks' time. But I can explain to you the concept of how it will work. We have been working very closely with the SEAI to develop an end-to-end, one-stop shop for the customer. In essence, the grant application process will be something that will be ha- managed and handled by the by our home energy consultant. Um, the payment of that grant will be on the um, Board Gosh Energy customer's bill. The price of the work to be done will be netted out uh, and deducted according to the grant that the customer is likely to, to qualify for. We will in our, ourselves provide an additional incentive or discount to the customer uh, to reduce that price again. And we will provide the opportunity for the customer to pay for the work over a 12 to 24 month period subject to them qualifying for, you know, within the criteria, etc. Now what this actually means in real terms is that somebody who wants to invest potentially up to 5,000 in a high efficiency condensing boiler um, with uh, heating controls and potentially attic uh, insulation and wall insulation, that may cost them something in the region of five, five and a half thousand. When you apply the Borgash um, finance package supported by the SEAI, that takes that price down to you know, an, entry, an entry price point of 500 euros, uh, with the opportunity then to spread the, the payments at a level no greater than maybe 160, 170 euro a month over the following 24 months. So suddenly it becomes much more attractive for the customer. They get the work done, they start to save straight away. You know, they will see real reductions in their energy bills straight away. And you know, ultimately, whilst they have an obligation to pay for the work over a period of time, and it is to stress interest-free, so we're not charging any hefty interest for, for the work, um, the opportunity is there for them to actually get in, get the work done, and, and start to feel the benefits straight away. So I think it's a really exciting proposition can't say enough about the SEAI in terms of how they have supported us with this. They've been fantastic. And I really think that it's going to be something that's going to change the face of, uh, of the whole ap- approach and, and customer attitude to, to investment in the home. It doesn't deal with the bigger ticket items. There's only, a certain way, there's only a certain degree to which we can go. Our, I suppose our central plan is to, to help customers do more, so help them spend that little bit more. Um, in order to ensure that they're you know, getting the benefit. But it doesn't deal with some of the bigger ticket items. Um, and I think, you know, back to the point that a number of speakers are making today, finance is key to it. We have to, we have to address that, and we need to, uh, to, to look for ways to work with other partners in the industry to, 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 to really address that. So I suppose before I conclude, I just want to say one or two other things around the whole area of renewable products and or innovations that we're, we're involved in. 
We are involved in a trial with, with Cirrus Power, who are a company based out of the UK, and they're looking at a micro CHP unit for the home. Very exciting uh, pilot. Um, it's early days at this stage, but we will be looking to do something with Cirrus this time next year, so that will be quite interesting. Um, we are al also the only dual fuel company engaged in the gas um, smart metering trial and the electricity smart metering trial, so we have, you know, the opportunity through both of those, through the dual fuel trial, to understand some more about cons uh, customer behaviour that will drive um, energy solutions into the future as well. So I think that th those are both very exciting um, initiatives. What we have done is we've put together a short video just to introduce you to the home team and give you a sense of, of, of how they operate and what uh, they will be doing in their day-to-day -day role. And it's about two and a half minutes long and I hope you enjoy it. To open your eyes, you might just get a big surprise, and it may feel good. And you might want to smile, smile, smile. Oh, don't you let your demons pull you down, cause you can have it all. You can have it all. Oh, oh, so come on. Oh, come Fort Gosh currently provide gas and electricity to over. Uh, one million customers now. We've had huge success with our Big Switch campaign and we've recognised the fact through our brand proposition and our commitments to our customers that we need to help customers manage costs. The whole concept of home services came from that idea. It's really to provide real energy efficiency solutions for the customers in the home and this will have a real tangible benefit for them and that it actually helps them to manage their costs at a level they haven't previously been able to. You know, we will bring in an awareness to the energy efficiency consultancy side of things as well and actually help customers to understand their energy usage and how that they can improve that. But I think the solution that we're proposing is fully encompassing and that we're talking about gas and electricity and then providing home energy solutions in the home that are actually real, and whether it's you know the use of appliances or information about the use of appliances or gadgets that help customers actually manage their costs or things like uh, attic roof wall insulation where we can actually you know, help the customer to uh, control their energy consumption. We currently provide border servicing and offer um, central heating upgrades, uh, boiler upgrades, energy efficiency appliances. We're going to tie in finance packages and hopefully provide, provide a range of finance packages to customers to help them and support them in, 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 in purchasing these products. Um, we're also tying in with the SEAI who provide fantastic grants in the whole upgrading of the home and particularly around initiatives that will help the customer to save money and improve their energy efficiency of their house. We're moving into a space that's very different from what has been done here before and it's very different from our competitor and I believe that that innovation and that innovative approach is really what's going to differentiate ourselves in the marketplace. Well, that was good timing. I have one minute to go. I'm going to stay for questions. I'm sure people might have some questions about the detail behind this, but thanks for your time today.